On World Heritage Day, Gazans discussed the toll Israel's 22-day war took on the Strip's culture and heritage. Several ancient buildings and historical sites were damaged as a result of the Israeli air raids on the tiny coastal enclave during the onslaught which Israel said aimed to stop rocket fire from Gaza into southern Israel. Experts called on UNESCO, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization to defend Palestinian cultural heritage. As Palestinians under this suffering from the uh, atrocities of the occupation, uh, urge the UNESCO uh, to be more uh, effective uh, in uh, uh, defending our rights uh, and preserving our cultural heritage here in Palestine. An arts and cultural exhibition was also held in Gaza on the World Heritage Day. Pictures of historical sites were on display along mosaics. Participants said that Israel is trying to erase Palestinian identity by targeting archaeological sites. It's quite clear that through targeting historical and archaeological sites, Israel is trying to erase Palestinian identity. They've targeted our heritage and our culture in a bid to deprive us of our cultural rights and history. Later in the day, Hamas government laid the cornerstone for a Palestinian national museum. We have to prove our claim to this land and tell the world that we have a history and that those who lose their past will also lose their future. At least a dozen empires have controlled Gaza in its 6,000 year known history, including the ancient Egyptians, Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians, Macedonians and Romans. Experts believe that the latest war on the beleaguered coastal enclave has put historic sites at risk, along with bringing about other serious repercussions for the region. Ashraf Shannon, Press TV Gaza.